there's a nook in here in this small cup and just lift it using the flat screwdriver to get the bolt or the screw of the agitator i use this matrix wrench in 10 millimeter Now, to remove the agitator, there's three holes here. You just have to lift it. One of the holes, you can put the screwdriver and lift it. And there you go. Surprise. Surprise. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not that bad, but this one. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Oh. So you need to clean up this thing. Mm. Yeah. Now it's time to clean up all this gunk. This is how it looks like after brushing and scrubbing. And by the way, I used dishwashing powder. I know it sounds weird, but it works. It cleans up the agitator. And here it is. It looks clean to me. And it looks brand new. And I'm happy. Good morning, guys. We'll check what happened to my washing machine tub. It looks good now. I put some products in it overnight. I left it there. Here's the product I use. It's baking soda. And I mix it with white vinegar. And I just left it there overnight. And then I'll run it for a quick wash just to clean the tub. And I might do it three times. And I hope it will clean up my tub this time and get rid of all the scrub. So, see how it goes. Hi guys, just an update on my washing machine. Um, I ended up running it for four times. And a quick wash just to get rid of all the gunk inside and now it's pretty clean and it's ready to do my laundry 